Thank you for watching. Today we're going to have a look at uh, the Axial SMT-10, uh, the Grave Digger. Well, this is actually really exciting because uh, Axial finally managed to get their hands on the Monster Jam license. Trax has had uh, the Monster Jam license for a couple of years and I never really felt those cars. You can hate me if you're a Traxxas person and you got one of those cars, really don't care. Uh, independent front and rear suspension just doesn't scream monster truck to me. Those cars were basically I think like some sort of uh, tweaked stampede and uh, this is actually a monster truck with solid front and uh, rear axles. Well um, we can look at the box for a really long time and uh, there's a picture of the real car on there as well somewhere. Uh, you can see that right there. Um, some pretty familiar stuff in here. Uh, this is the very first time that I ever have an Axial uh, ready to run. But uh, this thing being so fresh and so new, I just needed to have one. So you see a lot of familiar uh, looking stuff. For example, uh, the shocks, I think these are the same shocks that you would find on uh, the back of uh, a Yeti. Uh, sway bar looks uh, kind of familiar. Uh, it has the AR60 axles front and back. That's also uh, pretty familiar if you uh, run, for example, a Yeti, you will know that axle. I believe the same axle is also on uh, the Axial Bomber. Uh, and a, a lot of uh, a pretty pretty standard uh, stuff, uh, waterproof ESC, the whole thing by the way is waterproof. Uh, tactic uh, receiver, tactic electronics, tactic steering servo, uh, really freaking awesome wheels by the way that are new. Uh, yeah and a whole bunch of other stuff. Most uh, notably I think is that uh, molded roll cage that you see on the picture and also uh, on the car. That's something that is really new. Uh, people have been building these things from scratch, like cloth busters and all that stuff. I never really was into that, but once people started making their own monster trucks from uh, two Yeti rear ends, I kind of got uh, interested in it. And uh, seeing that Axial has now released this, I just think it is really cool. Let me tell you one thing about these uh, AR60 axles. Axial did a really great job in developing an axle that's so versatile that you can put it on. Uh, a rock racer, a trophy truck, uh, in this case a monster truck, it just makes for uh, a, a part or uh, with those trailing arms as well, it makes for a parts range that is so uh, uh, versatile and that can be used on so many different platforms that you indeed see vehicles like this pop up out of nowhere because they just have all the stuff and it's quite easy to uh, put it together. I'm not saying that they uh, that they skipped a few steps in uh, developing this thing because they sure as hell didn't uh, but it's just a, a great feature to have a couple of parts like that just to build a car uh, of this stature. Now let's uh, look at all the bullshit first. If you see the body flopping around, I already moved, uh, removed the body pins because I don't want to dick around with that later on. Um, you get uh, a supercharger, pretty cool. You can mount that on the hood or on the roof, whatever the hell you want with like air scoop. Uh, a couple of uh, plastic uh, thingamabobs, I think that's like for the shocks and whatnot. Most likely I will change the shocks out for some uh, Proline shocks. Uh, because I do have a lot of plans for this car. Uh, you get some uh, glow-in-the-dark helmets. I'm not five. I, I really don't. I really don't care about uh, stuff like that. Uh, so my driver figure will actually most likely get like a scale-looking helmet. And then there's some, uh, uh, yeah, some spare parts or some spare drive uh, shafts and uh, stuff like that. By the looks of it. But then again, I haven't really opened that bag, so. Uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about. This is a bubble wrap which came around the remote. Uh, this is a tactic remote. I uh, recently had a remote like this for, uh, you can see that it looks pretty similar uh, apart from that uh, uh, dial switch on the front. Uh, with my uh, Arma Nero. I've never had, again, I've never had uh, an Axial ready to run. These are the remotes that they supply with. They look really good to me for uh, if you consider the price tag on this car. I think that this is actually a decent quality remote. Uh, foam wheel, you can adjust absolutely everything. It takes four AA batteries. Uh, nothing spectacular, but also nothing uh, dangerous. 2.4 gigahertz, or however the hell you say it. Uh, 
um, yeah, so uh, good stuff right there. Uh, and then of course uh, a manual. A manual tells you what the car does. Most likely it gives you all the parts numbers. Uh, it tells you how the remote works. And I don't know why, but there's something like a rocket ship type of thing uh, right here as well. Uh, I haven't opened the bag, so I haven't really looked. So I don't really know what I'm talking about there either. Um, the body. Body looks really cool. Uh, you must be blind to not see how cool it looks. Looks really scale as well. Uh, and I don't know that they just managed to pull something off that looks uh, incredibly lifelike. And also when I saw the first video pair of this car, that's when I knew that I just needed to have one. Um, everything you see in the front, those flames, the silver stripe. Uh, also the flames over the roof, all that is like uh, silk screened, uh, printed on from the inside and then uh, everything else that you see, like for example the grave digger graphics on the roof and also over the sides, those are stickers along with uh, the headlights. Um, not a big deal, do make sure that you uh, cut them on over the sides and that you press them down or heat them up a tiny bit. See if you can get all of the air pockets out because there are uh, some air pockets over there and uh, especially if you plan on running it in uh, water or dirt those uh, stickers will uh, come undone. So that's uh, just something you need to pay a tiny bit of uh, attention to, not a big deal at all. Uh, let's take the body off. Surprised to see that there's actually an interior in there, uh, however small it is. But it is very uh, cool that they included that. I'm going to give it a coat of flat clear just to make sure that my uh, scale tiny Dennis Anderson doesn't look like he just came from some sort of sex party uh, in a shiny latex suit. So uh, that will be taken care of, but that's a really easy fix. Uh, well, really simple interior, just has like a, a RAV counter. Uh, I'll make sure you get a close up of it. A RAV counter, steering wheel, and then uh, the driver figure with uh, well, the glow in the dark helmet that really I really don't care about. Uh, in the front, you see the receiver box. That cage, by the way, is uh, in, in my book, it's a work of art. Uh, really nicely done, and especially for a vehicle that comes ready to run. It seems to be of uh, exceptionally good quality and this of course also everything is uh, so well protected that you can beat the absolute shit out of it without having to worry that something's going to break. Uh, Dean's connector installed on uh, the, the ESC. ESC sits right underneath the driver figure. Um, then you have the receiver box in the front, battery compartment in the back, uh, really simple one latch with a body clip and I think you can even uh, adjust the height on that uh, battery strap to make sure that you can uh, put a really big lipo in there. I'm going to run this thing on uh, 3S lipos uh, in the stock configuration. Most likely at some stage I will uh, change it out for a brushless, uh, but not yet, just because I want to see what it can do uh, in the stock uh, setup. Um, this is not a go fast rig, do not uh, expect to get any mind boggling speeds out of it, especially not at two cells. Uh, but not even on three cells will it do anything uh, that, will, that will set some records. It's a 27 turn uh, brushed motor in there. It is waterproof completely uh, and it is just something that in, in ready to run you don't really expect anything more than uh, what you get. I think uh, they did a really great job in including everything as it is. Um, Aluminum body shocks, plastic caps, not too fond of them. I will be uh, changing them out for a pro lines. Um, these trailing arms being the exact same as you find them on the Yeti means that you can uh, install some uh, link plates on them, both uh, top and bottom that will just uh, transfer right over. And uh, with these axles being such a, a known item already, there's uh, plenty of upgrades for those as well. Tactic steering servo in the front, some really cool looking uh, wheels and tires, it makes it look uh, very scale. Uh, open diff front and back, so there's also no need for uh, four wheel steering, stuff like that, just because in this scale you really won't notice the difference uh, with the diffs being open. Um, apart from that, I'm not really sure uh, what I should tell you about this car. I, I cleaned uh, up uh, a lot of the, I got like a huge rock in the front of my house, so I cleaned that up completely. I plan to beat the absolute living crap out of this car uh, on that rock initially, just because it's uh, right out of my door. I can grab a coffee whenever I want and uh, run my RCs, charge batteries and uh, whatnot. And I just think that uh, this thing is going to perform awesome on uh, camera. 
I really love the look of it, tailpipes coming out, everything they just did, uh, I think a fantastic job on replicating the full-sized uh, grave digger. Uh, of course it being Monster Jam licensed, I expect to see some more uh, Monster Jam vehicles most likely uh, being released sometime soon and I'm thinking uh, Maximum Destruction or Max D like everybody now calls it, which I think is a really odd name that I would expect in a porn movie. Uh, and then you have like the, the Monster Mutt, uh, El Toro Loco, uh, I, I'm not sure what they will bring out first uh, but I am sure that with this thing gaining uh, a huge following and becoming more and more popular that companies like Trollland will hop on board and uh, will release a ton of bodies, wheels, tires and all that stuff for it. Trollland already has some really trick monster truck looking uh, wheels. Uh, monster truck size tires so that's cool and um, well let's uh, let's see what uh, the future brings but uh, I foresee uh, a lot of great stuff for this car uh, one last note I see more and more channels popping up that claim that uh, they need your help on uh, patreon uh, and that they will offer you some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage uh, well first of all I don't have no uh, exclusive behind the scene footage uh, because whatever footage I have I just put it up on YouTube uh, if I think that it's worth watching uh, and I really hate it when people uh, start asking their viewers for money because uh, my hobby or my camera needs is my problem is not yours I see people coming with, up with like the lamest excuses yeah I need new cameras yeah uh, we need to travel to whatever uh, event it is and uh, we need to even feed our dog, you know, it really bullshit like that. And it just kind of pisses me off that people try to empty your pockets with uh, messages like that. If you want to support me, uh, I, I hope you will hit the subscribe button. That's, uh, that's uh, much appreciated and that's uh, all that I really ask uh, from you guys. My hobby or me uh, showcasing RCs is not your problem. I can buy my own cameras, I can buy my own sliders, I can buy my own tripods. I can feed my own fucking pets and it's really not that difficult, especially not if I see that people who actually ask for money uh, work two full-time jobs, do some photography bullshit at the side and most likely have plenty of uh, cash laying around to feed their own pets and uh, supply their own uh, cameras, uh, sound equipment and uh, whatnot. So you won't see that happening over here anytime, uh, not in the future, not never ever. Um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty informative, I think. Uh, me even knowing like uh, axle names and uh, stuff like that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them in the box below. I uh, do uh, try to reply to all of them and I sure as hell read each and every one of them. Uh, so don't be shy and uh, just uh, leave me a message um, and I will beat the absolute living shit out of this car because it is after all a monster truck again no mind-boggling speech but you know for what it is it's uh, I think going to do awesome on camera especially if I slow the footage down a tiny bit to make it look a bit heavier than it actually is so I'm really looking forward to doing that and uh, see how much uh, destruction this monster truck can actually cause thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in the next one if you want to follow me uh, a bit further than uh, Instagram, Facebook, links are in the description box and uh, catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Back on.